It has been a long time. I'm just kidding, it's only been a few days. <laughs> hey guys, this is Light Sonic 25 here. Okay, I gotta stop joking. And welcome back to the Road to Smash 4 with Subspace em Emissary playthrough, as you might see. So last time we went through, um, we went through, um, Ruin Zoo, Battlefield Forest, and the uh, Plains. I can't remember the rest, but who cares anyway. So now we're going to the forest, and if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll keep uploading these episodes soon, or maybe later, or somewhere like that. But anyway, let's get started. Oh, jeez. I almost dropped my controller and almost accidentally pressed the start button, but anyway. <laughs> oh! The legend is revived! And that is not cameo or canon. <laughs> Aww, you look at Yoshi. So cute. Yoshi's so cute. I have to admit, Yoshi is so cute when he sleeps. Look at him! You look so cute! And, oh my lord. Here we go. Spread all of your purple balls all over the place. Hatching those enemies. <laughs> Yoshi was like, what the heck? <laughs> uh, let's play as Link. Because... Link's boss. <laughs> so anyway, guys, sorry I haven't been, haven't been uploaded lately. I I was very busy, you know, with stuff and work and all that stuff. Not like work work, but school work. But, but it's good to record some more Smash Brothers. Okay, you guys got stuff. But yeah, a lot of things, a lot of new things have been like these past few days and it's time for me to discuss and I don't know where to start well first of all gee I don't know where to start with I mean so many bizarre things are happening this week or happened last week well first of all today guys the Mario Kart 8 has gotten a new update and a free update which you can download it, it's basically what um, Nintendo's improving in Mario Kart 8 since some people have been complaining about like having, well, not having the map on screen because you have to look at the gamepad, um, some online problems and all the, and items, don't forget the items, don't forget the screwed up item system we have. So, Nintendo released an update, uh, and you can download it right now, and it contains a Mercedes Benz. I don't know why, but at first I thought it looked kind of ridiculous, but I might actually try it out and probably download it and maybe record it for you guys. You know, record me racing with the Mercedes Benz, so, I think... I think it might seem weird having a real life, like a real life car, have in the Mario Kart game, but but I don't think it's weird because think about it, they done it in Sonic Transform All Stars Racing where they had Danica Patrick appear, so I wouldn't say it's weird. <laughs> so. Oh, and also, not only there, it's not only just that update, but, dude, it's more than just an update, it's like many different updates, so now there's going to be DLC, which not only includes, um, um, uh, what do you call it, no, it's DLC, 
So apparently, Dry Bowser is going to come back. So that's going to be quite interesting to have him come back. So if they can keep this up, they if they can add Diddy Kong or Bowser Jr., then I should be okay with that. And also, I didn't know this would be possible, but Link right here is actually going to be in Mario Kart 8 as DLC. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why or how, but I'm, I'm so happy. I never thought this would happen. I, I was just like tweeting like crazy, like, Nintendo, what has gone into you? Like seriously, ha I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about Link being there, but Nintendo, what has gone into you? you s you're listening to the fans or something? Releasing DLC? It's like Nintendo is like going all out in this game. To make it one of the biggest sellers compared to to the upcoming Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS. So, oh, oh, and not only that, they're going to release Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing stages. Oh, and speaking of new stages, they added a F Zero stage. Uh, I never, I, I didn't know they were having an F Zero stage. I'm not a I'm not so overly all over F-Zero, but seeing Nintendo putting an F-Zero stage into Mario Kart 8, and a Blue Falcon, the Blue Falcon is going to be added to a card customization. Now, the only thing they're missing, Captain Falcon. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, whatever. I don't care. Because we're talking about Mario Kart 8. So, if they know... If they know... If they know add Captain Falcon into the game, even though they added an F-Zero stage and Blue Falcon cart, then that's just gonna be insulting because they added... They added into, like... The... The F Zero stage in Blue Falcon. That was ju that would just be an insult if they didn't add Captain Falcon in there. So I'm just saying. And another thing, they're bringing back new. Tr they're bringing back old tracks from previous games. For example, they're they're adding back Wario's Gold Mine from Mario Kart Wii. So that's gonna be great. I like to see. I like to to race on old, more, um, like more older stages in HD. So that would be so awesome. Oh, oh, oh come on, dang it. Hmm. Someone else, oh yeah, and not only that, they, <laughs> I don't know why, but they added Ka Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach. For some reason, I don't know, and I, I I don't care. Oh, oh, and also, um, what is it? They're gonna do real. Moving on from our death, which is stupidly happened. They're going to add the, but the DLCs are not gonna come out for free. We all know that. But if you buy two DLCs, which include um, the Captain Falcon stage, all that, all of those stages, you can get. Sorry, I just sneezed. Oh, wait. Sne sorry, I just sneezed unprofessionally. I don't know if that. I don't know if some YouTubers sneeze while they're playing, but whatever. <laughs> But yeah, they're going to they're going to release some multicolored Yoshi's and Shy Guys, so that will be amazing. Nintendo just going all out with Mario Kart 8. I'm hoping they'll improve the items. That's what I'm hoping for, so they won't get out of whack when they're 
we're even playing it online, so hope they fix that. And we got Link and Yoshi to join our team. And now we're going to the research facility. So, so yeah, I'm going to update it like in the next day or probably the weekend or so. But, oh my lord. Here we go. Zero to Samus. Hey Samus, um, you look better in the new version, so I'm not saying you're ugly, but just say you're not attractive. Just say <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'll be showing the Mercedes Benz DLC like probably in the weekend, maybe I don't know. No, I don't think it'll be a weekend. I'll t I'll probably download it on Friday and show it to you guys the same day. So. That should be pretty exciting. But now we're playing as Zero Suit Samus, one of the most sexual, most seducing looking players in the game. And the reason I said that is because we all seen her appearance lately, and yeah, <laughs> there happen to be happens to be some. Some pictures. Well, I'm not going to get to detail of that. Ooh, trophy. Thank you. Oh, ho, uh oh, trophy. So I won't get into detail of that since I'm keeping this PG for you guys. But oh, and speaking of Zero to Samus, if you guys don't already know. Oh wait, oh we're coming into a cutscene here. Oh my gosh! He got you! Oh. Awesome breakout! Oh jeez. You know what? Since Pikachu, since Pikachu spree, let's rock out with this Pokemon. Um, don't hate on me, guys, but Pikachu is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. So just put it out there. I love Pikachu. I mean, who doesn't love Pikachu? If you guys don't like Pikachu, like at all. Like completely hate Pikachu, then you guys should stop playing Pokemon now. Because <laughs> just kidding, I'm free. To, I'm free to listen to you all guys' opinions, so I'm not gonna call you out. Don't listen if I have to. Just saying. But yeah, as I was saying, um. Oh, okay. But yeah, as I was saying, um, oh shoot. Yeah, um, in the recent Smash Brothers screenshot, um, Nintendo re released, um, Samus has got a new, uh, alternate costume, which features her in, like, a sports bra, some shorts, and all that stuff. When I first saw that, I was like, really Nintendo, you're really expressing this, you're really expressing the way how Samus should be, so, I, at first I was, I was like, like seriously, but, but I kinda okay with it now, I kinda okay with it, with the alternate costume, since it was designed, it was designed by a female, so, so, I'm, thank goodness for that, because in Metroid Other M, they completely, they com it was like sexism in Metroid Other M, when it deals with the plot, plot-wise, uh, how can I, wow! 
I just wasted the whole key. That's lame. Oh, regenerate key. Yay! I'm gonna use this. And now we use it. You better not. You better not. Now we use the. Oh, shoot. Quit hitting me! Quit hitting me! Quit it! You freaking. Mm. I did not say the F word just to let you know. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, I'm o I'm okay with the design. I'm okay with Samus' alternate costume. Just because it was designed by a female designer. So I'm happily okay with it. Anyway, we're gonna come right here. Oh, and another thing. Guys, guys, if you haven't watched the new Pokemon mount announcement, it was, let me just put it this way, it's Pokemon mixed with Tekken. It's Pokemon mixed with Tekken. It's Pokemon mixed with Tekken! Seriously, now Pokemon battles should... Pokemon battles are just taking it to a whole new level in this game. It was just like... It was in a battle between Lucario and Machamp. So they were just duking it out. Like, oh my lord. That, it was so amazing. It's like they... How can I say this? It's like they took the mechanics out from Tekken, but at the same time they... Oh, can I... Dang it. But at the same time, they kept that Pokemon style fights. So, it was so amazing. The fights look so epically amazing. Actually, it almost looks like... It almost looks like you're watching anime while playing it. So it just it almost looks like anime fights the way you look at it. So that that was just so amazing. But but what am I contemplating contemplating is I don't know if it's gonna I hope I use that right. But I don't know if it's well, I know it's gonna come out in the U in the U.S. and other countries. Don't get me wrong, but I'm since it's coming out in arcade in Japan, I'm worried how Nintendo will port it into. I really hope they port it into a Wii U because the Wii U it has been boosted by sales. The sales has been boosted thanks to Mario Kart 8. I mean, because of Mario Kart 8, Wii U sales has been, like, booming. Oh, gosh. I hate dealing with these enemies. What the heck? Okay. You gonna do me like that? You gonna do me like that? What the? Okay. Stop! Ugh, I'm tired of you. Ugh. Stop. Can you stop? Eat this kit, though. But yeah, I hope Nintendo um, ports it to the Wii U because the Wii U needs Wii U needs more like sales. Oh my gosh! I thought I was gonna die there. I was gonna like, what the heck? So, but the game looks so amazing. Actually, it was just one footage. I can't wait to see, like, more footage in the Pokemon Pokken Tournament. That's what it's called, Pokemon Tournaments. So, that should be really high. Ooh. And now, Samus knows she needs that suit. And now we're gonna go through one more stage. And we should be done with this. 
So let's head to oh Lake Shore. Shore. Oh wow. Wow! Kirby just leaves Zelda like that. Are you freaking serious? Kirby, I'm sorry I like you, but you're stupid. Oh my lord. I like that design. I like Bow Dark Bowser. Dark Bowser confirmed. <laughs> But seriously, how could Kirby just leave Zelda and let her be possessed by it? Man, that's just stupid. Nope! We're not gonna let you kill our friends. Pit to the rescue. Oh, he's not saving anyone. Oh, Mario. It's right guy with Mario. Now we're going to face Dark Zelda. And I like this Mario music. It's from Super Mario World, I think. So, it sounds amazing. Come on. Okay, no. I'm not about to let you pro me. You know what? If she would have turned to Sheik right now, I would I would be like so mad. Come on, you just dare teleport. Come on, meteor smash. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Ah, oh, dang! I almost got that snipe. Like, come here, come here. Eat this. What the? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm getting so annoyed. Uh, can you die? Can you die? Just... Come on! Ah, I'm getting tired of this. You know what? No! I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Oh, now I get that snipe. Okay. Get mad! Get mad! Get mad! That's alright. I got that snipe, though. I got that snipe, though. Uh-oh. Oh. Here's where things get really gruesome right here. Lake Mistake Zelda... Oh. Oh, my lord. This is even better than Mario's version because did you guys you guys can tell me they this is why it's rated teen. Link was about to stab Mario in the head because he mistaken Mario like defeating Zelda and whisking her away. Like making her faint. So that was really crucial right there. That was that was that was so crucial. Anyway, why is this loading taking so long? Now we're having a double battle against Link and Yoshi. So, and we have allies, thank goodness. You guys need to die. I'm taking on Yoshi. Platformer, pla platformer versus platformer, and sword, swordsman versus swordsman. Is Link a swordsman? I don't know. Okay, I need the perfect snipe. Ah, oh, you dodged my green shell snipe though. What the heck? Okay, no. I'm not about to let you live. Almost died. If that would happen, it would be game over. Ugh. We're almost done. Just need to kill this freaking Link. Get that. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Hmm. Oh great. DDD's about to. <gasps> no! My true love! It's been taken away! What Where did Kirby come from? Where did Kirby come from? He just like appear out of nowhere and just jumps on the cart. Wow. Ah, oh, yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go with Kirby, Pit, and Mario and Link. Leaving Yoshi behind because Yoshi's Yoshi's not good for me, as you could say. All right, now we're going to oh bomb. Oh yeah, also. What I like about you guys know about the Smash Run. You guys know about the Smash Run added to Super Smash Brothers Wii U and 3DS. I'm not sure it's gonna be on the Wii U yet. We're not sure yet. But what I like about the Smash Run is that they brought like every like like whatever Nintendo Nintendo thing hit enemy they could find. Even Pokemon. So, and that's good for. And in my opinion, I think it's really good since in here in Smat in Subspace Emissary, uh, oh god, Lord, they complained that the Nintendo didn't get any Nintendo themed enemies, excluding Goomba and. Koopas, because they were just Mario, so, yeah, I really like about it. Oh, and also, you know about the leaks, guys? What, what the heck? Did I just seriously die? Uh, um, okay, I don't know how, but... That happened. <laughs> that happened. Get you! Go see you lips off of me. But you guys know about the Smash Brothers leaks. I forgot to mention that. Well, here's what they did. We just saw like if you guys didn't know, um there was a leak gameplay. And I'm not talking about picture leak, I'm talking about gameplay. And it's shown um, Ganondorf, uh, Shulk, and Bowser Jr.'s gameplay. And yes, the leaks, pro the leaks, the leaks are possibly going to be real. I should have done that. I knew I should have done that. I should have done that. I. Well, look at us. We're almost lot. We're almost losing our lives because of this stage. If I get a game over, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out live right here. Oh, now we're gonna go into this cave. Oh. This is where DDD was heading. Let's go back to Kirby. Because he died. But yeah, the leaks are gonna possibly going to be real. Hold on. Oh, these enemies are. That right there is a one hit KO. Boo. I'm just saying. As I was saying, the leaks are probably, possibly going to be real. Because they show. Uh, I. I don't want to describe how Bowser Jr.'s gameplay was. So, the card they mention is basically what Bowser has been riding on, like, in the previous Mario games, to where he has that thing with that happy face, then, like, if you face, if you face Bowser Jr. in the new Super Mario games, that's where he, that's what he's gonna fight in. And I just gotta say, it's stupid. His gameplay style is stupid. It just like sucks. The way I saw it. It just like. He has a paintbrush. And he's riding on his dumb freaking riding on thing. I don't know, even know what it's called. But why? 
why does he have to ride on that thing to attack? Why does he touch the ground? Why can't he just... I don't know why I keep saying why all over. But seriously, he, did, he doesn't even touch the ground. That's just stupid. Okay, we can... Oh my gosh! Don't wait for me. Stop chasing me, weirdo. I, mean, I I hate Bowser Jr.'s gameplay the way it looks, and I'll be sorry if. And I'm sorry for Nintendo for adding him as a character, just the way he attacked, and just the way he was concepted in, because. He freaking has his paintbrush. Get wrecked. Oh, damn. Get wrecked. So, I just hate that about Bowser Jr. Oh, and another thing. Ganondorf's moveset is... Is still the same, but nerfed. I don't know why. It's like Nintendo said all these characters are gonna be stronger, but... Ganondorf, Fox, and everyone else is nerfed. <laughs> oh, hello. That wasn't cameo. Uh oh. Here we are, the Dark Devil himself. But we're gonna deal with that in the next episode. <laughs> I just like how there was a suspenseful cutscene, and all of a sudden we were just have to cut it until the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe button. And and the next episode we'll be tackling on the path to the ruins and more. So thank you guys for watching and have a great day. This is Lights on the 25 signing out. Bye! That was terrible. <laughs> anyway guys, bye.